Chinese researchers have used quantum computers to crack the RSA encryption algorithm, which highlights how quickly quantum technology is evolving. How much longer do we have until we need a new encryption mechanism to replace RSA? Clorox has revealed that a major cyber attack in 2023 significantly hindered their progress towards achieving their 2030 sustainability goals, specifically in reducing plastic waste. And finally, there is a new threat dubbed command jacking that exploits open source package entry points to sneak malicious code into your systems. And so as attackers continue to find subtler ways to impersonate popular tools and extend malware research, what precautions can developers take to defend against the stealthy manipulation tactics like this one? You're listening to The Daily Decrypt. All right, it is a groundbreaking time and also very concerning time for global security where Chinese researchers from Shanghai University have discovered a method to break RSA encryption using D-Wave's quantum annealing systems. This research was detailed in the Chinese Journal of Computers and it shows that quantum computers can now tackle cryptographic challenges traditionally thought to be secure, potentially accelerating the timeline for quantum threats to existing encryption. And now this is just a research paper that has been submitted, though they did successfully crack RSA using a 22-bit RSA integer. It's mostly to show the possibilities and describe a situation in which this could be used against other encryption algorithms, such as the AES or Advanced Encryption Standard. Basically, this is very important research to continue to pour money into because quantum computing is coming and it's growing and it's evolving faster than we could have even imagined. And it's a huge threat to cybersecurity, especially around very complex mathematical equations that we all rely on for privacy and security involved in encryption. And so through this paper and other research, experts are warning that the data that's being encrypted today could become exposed if quantum computing capabilities continue to evolve as rapidly as they are. So in cybersecurity, most of us are worried about the things, technologically speaking, that could end the world, right? But there are other things outside of your computer and servers that are threats to human existence, such as the environment. Whether or not you believe in global warming, you understand that certain materials can be recycled and reused, but also have a really hard time breaking down, like plastics. And there's not really much of a logical need to continue to use plastics only for one use and then just throw it in the trash. We have other more sustainable ways of transporting goods, whether it's cardboard or burlap or whatever, but we continue to use plastic. So in the 2024 annual report by Clorox, they revealed that the major cyber attack last August has disrupted the company's progress towards its 2030 sustainability targets, which include reducing plastic and other types of waste. So not only did this attack affect this company on a cybersecurity level or on a financial level, but it's also pushing back their goals they set in their 2030 climate pledge. The attack referenced caused significant operational setbacks, costing the company an estimated $49 million and affected its ability to procure high-quality post-consumer recycled plastics, or PCRs. As Clorox reassesses its goals, the company acknowledges industry challenges but remains committed to integrating sustainability across its operations. The financial impacts of this plastic reduction and waste reduction pledge are pretty notable, with the potential costs of up to $7 million million dollars per year for increasing PCR content and up to 20 million dollars for complying with the extended producer responsibility policies. So for those cyber attackers out there listening, it's worth noting that these cyber attacks can bring you money and they can hurt these conglomerates, but we all share a planet, the good guys and the bad guys, so let's make sure these attacks don't disrupt the efforts for saving this planet. And our final story revolves around a security concern in open source packages. So researchers at Chexmarks have highlighted a vulnerability in the entry points of open source application packages, such as those in Python and JavaScript, which could be exploited by attackers in a tactic called command jacking. 
This tactic involves manipulating entry points to run malicious commands, potentially stealing data or planting malware. Threat actors have also employed strategies like typo squatting and dependency confusion to inject malicious packages into code repos. But this report warns that popular development commands like AWS, Docker, and NPM are targets for impersonation. These attacks can have severe implications in environments like continuous integration, continuous deployment, where sensitive credentials are often used. The researchers are stressing that entry points are a legitimate feature, but they can be exploited if developers are not cautious. Security strategies around this should focus on verifying package sources, conducting thorough code reviews, and utilizing automated tools to detect suspicious activity. And as we've talked about before, these packages are often installed by individual developers, especially people in their home labs trying to spin up some new cool little automation or something like that. They're, they're added without much thought. And so this is just another example in a long list of examples of reasons to really do your research before utilizing a package. Even if ChatGPT recommends it or writes some code that imports that package, make sure you check it out because the results could be pretty detrimental. This has been The Daily Decrypt. If you found your key to unlocking the digital domain, show your support with a rating on Spotify or Apple Podcasts. It truly helps us stand at the frontier of cyber news. Don't forget to connect on Instagram or catch our episodes on YouTube. Until next time, keep your data safe and your curiosity alive.